What is up guys and welcome back to another Rachel Legend video with me, The Real Deal. And today we are going to be doing a guide on Ultimate Gaelic. Um, there was recently a spider tournament where there were some really juicy rewards and I got absolutely baited into leveling out this Ultimate Garlic Bread. Um, yeah, so I'm going to like, let's check him out. Um, you know, and we'll look at his gear, his masteries, his skills. Um, and then we're going to like test him out in dungeons and see if there's anywhere else he can sort of fit into the game and yeah and then i'll sort of let you know do i think he's actually worth investing in so this is ultimate garlic bread in his pure form uh, as you can see i've been lucky enough to get an absolute exclusive skin of him um, i am absolutely loving his beret and his cheeky mustache um as you can see though the art team i know they do an amazing job but for some reason, they've given him French sticks instead of garlic bread. They've uh, messed up there, but you know, otherwise he is looking slick. Um, slight disclaimer: this is a uh, might have been photoshopped, but other than that, um, yeah, he is looking fine. So this is my ultimate Gaelic. Uh, as you can see, I've gone for life steal and accuracy. You don't have to copy my build. Um, you know, I've gone for accuracy because I needed accuracy to land my HP burns, and then life steal just to have that sustainability to keep him alive and healthy. Uh, you could go immortal, you could go regen, um, you could go speed. It just, you know, crit rate. It just depends what stats you need. And the most important stats on him are HP to keep him alive. Um, attack is also good because it's going to help him do more damage. And um, he does need 100% crit rate. And um, we'll talk about it in a moment. And he needs um, 200 plus accuracy and speed. I think you should have at least 200 plus and just keep him nice and fast so he does throw out those HP burns as much as possible. So total stats, oh no sorry, let's check out his gear first. So I've gone for a crit damage gloves, um, HP chest, uh, speed boots, then we've got an attack ring, we've got crit damage uh, amulet, and then uh, unfully rolled, um, uh, hit, I'm sorry, attack banner. So total stats, we've got 46k HP, so he's nice and tanky. 3.3 uh, attack, so decent amount of attack. 2.2 uh, defense, that's going to help keep him alive as well. Uh, like I said, 187 speed is quite slow. I'd like him to be 200. Uh, 101 crit rate, and then 2.3 crit damage. That's really decent. Um, going to help him really pump out some damage. And then 217 accuracy, so you want 200 plus for uh, dungeons, um, 20 and above. If you're going, I don't think you can use him in 25, to be honest. But if you did... You'd want around 250. So skills. Skills are his greatest weakness. They are very peculiar to say the least. Um, so how he works is he does um, HP burn on all his abilities. But for him to do HP burn, he needs to have increased attack on him. So how his AT works is he'll attack with his A2 first. So he won't place the HP burn. And then he'll increase the intact, uh, increase attack on himself which makes no sense at all. Really, he should increase his attack first and then do the HP burn. But for some reason, he doesn't do it that way. He's been programmed really poorly. Um, but yeah, so he does HP burn on all his abilities, but um, his A2 is a 50% chance of placing it on the target. Um, his A3 is an AoE attack and attacks two times and has a 50% chance of placing um, HP burn on each hit. So it's still not great. To be honest, it's not 100%. And also, if you look here, he does decrease the enemy's turn meter as well. So um, that's kind of useful. And then his A3 um, will... Sorry, increases... Oh, sorry. Yeah. If the target has HP burn on them, will also decrease the turn meter. But it's very unlikely because he behaves so peculiar. So, you know... If you do the first hit and you don't do HP burn, the second hit won't decrease the turn meter. So it's, it's almost like it's completely wasted. He, he does waste a lot of his abilities, which is one thing I really don't like about him. And his A1 also has a chance of placing HP burn if increased attack is on him. If you get a, cre um, a, 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 sorry, if you get a critical hit, um, then he will increase his turn meter by 10%. Um, yeah, so it's a real shame. I do feel like they need to program him better. So what you can do is um, basically make sure that he prioritizes his A2. So he's always putting his increased attack on himself first. Or you can bring someone in that does increase attack and that will help him be a better champion for you. 
So masteries, I've not fully mastered him. So let me show you what masteries I would use on him. So this is a website I use all the time. It's so great for masteries. It's called raidbro.com. So you just type into Google raid masteries calculator. Should be the first link that pops up. Um, and what's great about this is that you can sort of do your masteries and, you know, say you'd like made a mistake on a champion, you know, you're going to either waste that free reset or you're going to burn gems. So definitely I'd say do your masteries on here first and then copy them onto your champions. Um, so with ultimate Gaelic, I'd definitely recommend a support and offensive tree. I mean, you could go defense if you've got enough um, accuracy, otherwise definitely go support. Um, so we're going accuracy with accuracy. And um, basically here, actually, no, do you know what? Because you need HP burn on him, I would say always go support with him, actually. Um, so you want accuracy with more accuracy. And basically when his HP burns expire, this is going to help keep your turn meter going. So it's going to boost your turn meter and keep you nice and fast. Uh, Laura still just to bump up your stats. And then Cycle of Magic, uh, basically to just get that chance to um, reduce the cooldown on our A3. And then Master Hexa. So when we fret our HP burns, that they stay on the enemy longer, so we do more damage. Then we want crit rate as per usual, and then we're going for crit damage. Um, more damage and more damage. Uh, then life drinker just to help keep your HP topped up. And then more damage again, and then more damage on the A1. And here as well, so basically when we're getting kills, that's going to help increase our damage as well. And then War Master, so just basically when you get those procs on the boss, that's going to do way more damage and just help speed everything up. So what we're going to do is we are going to use Kale as uh, Ultimate Gaelic's competition in some dungeons. So what we've got is we've got Crit Damage Gloves, we've got Attack Percentage Chest, we've got Speed Boots, um, Attack Banner, uh, Crit Damage uh, Amulet, and then Attack Ring. So total stats, we have 32k HP, so he doesn't have as much survivability as Ultimate Gaelic. Got 3.8 attack, so he does have a bit more um, damage, um, but he does have less defense as well, 1.8. Um, he's quite a bit faster, 207, but, um, and then we've got less crit rate, we've only got 88. And we've got a bit more crit damage, 248 crit damage, and then we've barely got any accuracy, so we've only got 158 accuracy. So that means a lot of our poisons aren't going to land, so... That is going to help Ultimate Gaelic have that advantage with the HP burn. So he should, in theory, do more damage because Kale's only going to be doing like raw damage and not getting all that extra damage he does from his poisons. Um, and my Kale, he's more built for arena and for campaign farming. So this is quite an old build. I've not touched this for a very long time. Um, and then Masteries, um, this is like a hybrid build. So it's sort of for... Um, campaign farming and arena and actually for soloing um, Minotaur as well. So everyone's favourite dungeon, the easiest of all the dungeons, Dragons 20. Um, so what I wanted to do as well, I didn't want to do like a super fast run and just bring in OP champions. I've tried to bring in just really supportive champions that are going to help us keep alive, drop defence. So that means that Kale and Ultima Gaelic, they're going to have to do all the work. Um, so 3 minutes and 39 seconds isn't that bad, to be honest. Um, and Kale's done 1.9 uh, million damage. So he's really putting in some work there. Um, Ultimate Gaelic, so he's done it in 5 minutes 19, so like 2 minutes slower. And he's only done 1. Size, sorry, 1.7 million damage. So he's not, he's not doing as much work as Kale. Um, but, but Kale does have a slight advantage that, you know... Poisons do do more damage to the dragon, so that's probably why it's faster. But you know, I want to try and do like compare it as fairly as I can. Um, and also, I brought them in together, and Kale has done 500k more damage than Ultimate Gaelic there as well. Uh, so Ice Golem, this is a very very slow run. Um, you know, but I just like again, I brought in Padmea. She's in there to do um, drop, um, so decrease attack. So that means the boss is going to do less damage. So we're going to stay alive. Uh, Brogany is going to bring in shields and block debuffs. So that's going to help keep the team alive as well. And um, he's going to do some healing as well. Uh, Madder is So basically she's going to strip uh, buffs on the second wave. And she's also bringing that decrease attack as well. So that's going to help us keep alive. Um, I brought in Arbitar just to um, do some healing, keep the turn meters fast. But also, she does increase attack, so that's going to help Ultimate Gaelic do his HP burns and 
unlock his true potential. Um, but yeah, so we did 5 minutes 47, so it is a slow run, but that's because of the boss. So obviously when you kill the ads, the boss, he can't help himself. He just has to keep erecting them. So he keeps erecting them from the dead. And he just, you know, he can't help it. He just has to keep them alive. And yeah, I could have brought in someone that's going to um, block revives, but I just thought it's not fair. I do want them to sort of see, you know, who's doing more damage and who's doing more work. Um, so Kale's done 3.1 million damage. So he's done, that's a respectable amount to be fair. And once again, Ultimate Gaelic, he's really let us down here. Um, 7 minutes and 29 seconds. That's, I think, you know, 2 minutes slower. And he's only done 2.5 million damage. He's barely done anything there. So that is a that is a real shame, to be honest. Um, so we also um, check them out in um, campaign. So my Kale is not in the best gear. Um, he's he sort of times average between 12 to 18 seconds. So it's not terrible, but it's not great either. I know you can put Kale in like some really good gear and um, he can farm campaign in about um, eight seconds if you do put him in really good gear. But, you know, I want to put my uh, best gear elsewhere. So, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, and Ultimate Gaelic, um, he does it in sort of 25 to 31 seconds. So he's quite slow. And you have to remember that, you know, Kale, he's a free starter champion and he is a rare and he is absolutely smashing ultimate gaelic at all these dungeons and at campaign farming so you know i would not recommend leveling up a, an ultimate gaelic for campaign you know just use your starter champion they will definitely do a better job than him um so spiders gen there's no point in bringing kale in for this um his poisons he will not be able to kill the boss poisons do nothing to spider so there's no point um, but once again, I've just brought in like Healy Champions. Um, I had to bring in a Cold Heart just to um, help with that turn meter manipulation. Um, so three minutes and nine seconds, that's quite slow to be honest. And um, for Spider mid game, it does depend on your roster, of course. But I'd say like I'd expect you to do it in two to two and a half minutes. Um, but Ultimate Gaelic, he's done 8.3 million damage. So he is pushing numbers. He is doing some work there for us. So... Fair play to him. He, he has done something there. Um, but like I said, there's no point in bringing in a Kale. Um, but he has done, you know, Mordecai has done 7.6 million damage. So he's not done as much damage as um, Ultimate Gaelic. However, he has done it 30 seconds faster. So that's why he's not done as much damage because he's doing it so much quicker. So I'm going to have to say I give it to Mordecai there as well. He is outshining an ultimate Gaelic there. So ultimate Gaelic, would I six star him for Spider? Um, I think if you had no other champions, I would use him um, reluctantly. You know, I don't like to waste resources in this game. And um, I definitely feel like a lot of the newer Spider champions that have come out are so much better than him, especially that all the epics out of all the epics. If I could choose any of them, I would choose every single one over him. Um, yeah, he really is outshined. His kit is so out of date and it is just so backwards. Like I said, like Polarium really need to work on that. And, you know, he does need to, they need to work on his kit and change it. So he's more viable. Um, but yeah, he, he's just not that great. He, he The only place I feel that you can use him in the game is Spider. I mean, if you feel that you could use him in Arena or Doom Tower, please let me know. Do you use him there? Because I really don't feel that he's going to do anything for you there. And um, there's so many better options. Um, and, you know, HP Burn isn't the only way to beat Spider. There are loads of, well, there's like four different strategies you can use uh, to beat him. But, um, or her, I'm not sure what gender they are. But, um, you know, you can go like max HP damage champions. So like, Septimus, Cold Heart, um, Royal Guard. There are different options, so it's not the only way. And having turn uh, turn meter manipulation, um, having survivability like a miscreated monster for shields and stuff. So there's loads of different ways that you can beat the Spider Boss. But um, let's 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 have a look at some of the alternatives you can use to Ultimate Gaelic. Uh, Illumilove.net, great great website. If you just type into Google 
uh, raid tier list. It should be the first or second link. And then just scroll down the right hand side, come down to debuffs and click HP burn. Um, they've got the HP burn AOE champions and a uh, single target as well. Um, but also they also explain how it works and like how um, activating HP burn skill works as well. So loads of information, really, really good. Well, good, no, great, great website. Definitely recommend using it. Um, so you might be lucky and pull one of the um, legendary HP burn AOE champions, or you might pull one of the epics. Um, Crypt King, amazing. He's great. Herndig, also another great option. Ignatius, I think he's overrated. Um, his HP burns on like a five turn cooldown. Um, I guess if you put him in a reflex set, that might help, but I just don't think he's any, I think his HP burns only last for two turns, so he's not a great option. A uh, Sissy of Flame Tongue, she is the goddess. She is the queen of HP burn. Um, she is, she will do speed, burn, uh, speed runs for, um, Spider 25. So great, great champion. Tamisia, also, she um, is great for doing speed runs on Spider, well, Spider 20 to 25, so she is also another great option. Um, Trunda, I guess you could build her as, like, um, put some accuracy on her um, and use her for her HP burn on Spider, so that is an option. Um, Tyrant, great champion as well, and Venus, all great options. Uh, Achak, also very good for Spider, also has some control with Freeze. Um, Akoth, everyone gets him from um, Doom Tower normal. So if, you're not, if you don't have a HP turn champion, it's okay. You will get someone like Akoth eventually. Uh, Mordekai, um, also another great, like as we saw earlier, great HP burn champion. Also has turn meter boost. And Ultimate Gaelic, of course, we've been talking about him for the whole bloody video. Um, so yeah, all great options. But as you can see, there's not that many AoE HP burn champions. Um, there's also some sort of single target champions I guess you could use for the spot uh, for the boss But you really do want AoE HP burn for the spiderlings. So Personally, I definitely recommend using the AoE ones over single target ones. So yeah, that is pretty much the end of the video Thank you so much for watching guys. Um, I hope you found it useful Um, I want to know do people agree with me about ultimate Gaelic or do you, you know Are you doing some crazy, you know shizniz that I don't know about? Um, and, you know, who do you guys, you know, I want to do some more champion guides, um, epics, legendaries, I don't mind. Um, you know, let's have a quick look at my roster. If there's anyone you see that you'd love for me to do a guide on, please let me know. And, you know, I'm perfectly happy to do any one of these champions. And, yeah, I'm really looking forward to your feedback. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.